Hi there, um, I'm back today with uh, Get Ready With Me. So, um, I've done my face ready just to speed things up. I used Garnier um, BB Cream in Light. I used um, Concealer Collection 2000 Last Imperfection. I used the blush that I talked about in my previous video from, um, it's from Tesco. And um, Max Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. So what I'm going to do is just a really natural kind of look today. Um, I'm going to be using the 15th anniversary by Urban Decay. <clears throat> and I'm going to start by using Flow, which is this kind of peachy colour. I've already primed my eyelids with New Bio Pink Pot. Sorry, from MAC, which is just like a skin tone just to save time, like a pe pinky skin tone, but I'm sure we've already seen it. So, without further ado, <laughs> I'm just going to start off by packing this on to the lid. I absolutely love Urban Decay eyeshadows. I would say um, that they were like one of my favourite makes definitely but because they're so pigmented and creamy you can sometimes get a bit of fallout <clears throat> so although I already did my concealer it might be better to do it after depends how much it bothers you it doesn't really bother me that much so it should look like like this then I'm going to take a crease brush I'm just using that by the way that brush I used was a MAC 239 just a shady brush now I'm using a MAC 222 just like a crease brush sorry they're a bit dirty because I used them yesterday um, and I'm going to go in with the colour Chase which is like this colour here and it's just like a warm gold colour like so and I'm just going to um place this in the um, outer crease and then bring it down onto the outer part of the lid just like so don't worry we'll blend that in a minute I'm not going to leave it just like that but just do the same on the other eye please excuse my eyebrows as well I'm gonna go and have them done next week but I try and leave them what makes me sound really mean it's not because of that but I try and leave them as long as possible because I'm trying to kind of grow them at the same time if you know what I mean um, so I don't really want to be doing them until they absolutely terribly need to be done um, then I'm gonna take a 224 and just um, blend out the top edge of that so it doesn't look so harsh so I kind of want them just a bit fuller and a bit longer but then who doesn't right okay then it should look like this <clears throat> and I just want to darken um, the outer corner a tiny bit I'm going to use sorry right, I've got some brushes over here that's why I keep looking over there and down um, a two, two six, like a bit more tapered, and I'm gonna go in with MIA, which is this darker brown here. It's like a cool dark brown. You don't have to use the same colours. I'm not sure if I've already said this. All you need is like a peachy goldy colour, a bronzy brown, and a cool darker brown. Um, so what I'm gonna be doing with this is just dotting it in the outer corner on both sides to take some of the colour out and then flick it through the crease a little bit I want this to be quite um, a soft day look so you can keep building the intensity you notice I've got a little bit of fallout now It's weird, these, oh, <laughs> that was a great thing to do. Don't put it on your nose like I just did. Because that is not very attractive. I've just got it all in my nose. Um, 
these colours tend to look really different on different people. My friend's got the same palette and when she wears this colour it almost looks black. When I put it on, it doesn't. I'm just going to take my 224 again and just buff out the edge a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to take this brush, which is a, I don't know, I think it's by Crown Brush. It's one of their Badger ones. It's called a Blending Fluff. It's just like a really big flat thing. Um, and then I'm going to go in with the colour Vanilla, which is like a really pale vanilla colour. Um, put a little bit of that on and just flick it on the top and then bring it down a little bit. This is the strangest brush I have ever seen, right? Because I ordered it online um, for Christmas. My dad was gonna get me some brushes. So I, I ordered this online thinking it would be like, you know, a Mac 217 or something. Cause it's kind of what it kind of looked like on the website. And it came like this. Now I don't know if you can see, but it's like flat. And like massive, like let me show you, compared to a shader brush. Can you see? It is, it's the weirdest brush, but I still like it so. Then I'm going to take a Sigma E15, which is just like a straight brush, and go in with black, which is called Blackout. Any black will do. Um, and then I'm going to stamp it on my lash line. It's just to make the eyelashes look a bit thicker because I'm not um, using eyeliner. I tend not to go the whole way in when I'm doing it. I just tend to go to about there. I don't know if you can see about there. Um, I don't know why. I just don't. There we go. And then the last thing I'm gonna do, one sec, is take any random angled brush, this is a new make, and I'm gonna go in with Omen, which is this shimmery purple duo chrome, it's a beautiful colour. And I'm just gonna run this a bit under my lash line, just on the outer half. For a pop of colour. Sorry if I'm going out of like camera view or focus, I'm trying not to. But it was a bit hard. Just like that. Um then I'm going to curl my lashes. I don't always do this, I'm just doing this today. I felt like it. These are just from Primark for like a pound. And then I'm taking Benefits, they're real. Mascara. This is what I find the hardest to stay in focus for. I don't know why. eyelashes are playing up on this eye. Has everybody else got one eye that's easier to do than the other? 